So, we are going down into the abyss in starting with episode 3. And this happened with a, well, quite the dramatic farewell. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review of Made in Abyss episode 3. And Good lord, this episode, it started to hit the fields. We had Rico preparing her trip to go down the abyss. Obviously Natty didn't want that she goes down there, but she he couldn't help it and she was really stubborn about it and it's her goal to go down there and meet her mother because she is believing that her mother is still alive. Well, we know about the curse of the abyss, what we had, we saw it in this episode as well for Ned when they came back from the first layer, how he felt sick, how he was throwing up and I think it made up for really really good explanation or at least a view how the curse of the abyss affects the people. We saw it in episode 2 with the explanation but to get it like this I think it's it adds a lot more to the entire thing and I re I'm really glad that they added it to the story. Also what I really liked was the entire build up to the end and seriously the leader, I don't know his name but let's just go with the leader, he kinda is the really good guy who knows more than he shows or says. When Rick was going around saying goodbye to the little kid who uh, felt kinda sick and there was this birthday thing. I'm really curious if this is actually a thing as well or if it was just a horror story made up by the guy. But man, when he came out of the room and the leader was like, well, what are you doing here? And after the thing with the, oh, yeah, just going to the toilet and going along with the obvious lie, I think it was a really, really good work for the show to go along with it. And the leader is like, oh, yeah, Rico, where is she? Okay, yeah, just go with her, stay with her and keep her safe so that she's not alone, stuff like this. Obviously, I really think he had a hunch that she was going down to the abyss but he didn't really stop her and I really like it I really did like this part then we had the emotional farewell At the abyss we had more world building or for the city with this certain district where Cave raiders were living there who were doing it illegally and it was really interesting to see them how they looked. We saw a bunch of faces there and they, they looked like living corpses and the entire district it looks so run down, so destroyed and it to see it like this, it's really, really terrifying to see the city like this and I would love to see more of the outside of the world and stuff like this, but I wonder if we will ever get it. But the driving force for me for this show is actually the well, kind of consistent dark tone with the kind of heavy mood on it. Highlighted by a bit of comedy here and there, but overall it's more like a consistent heavy mood. 
and especially the end how the abyss was portrayed in the end when we had the characters from quite a nice shot and then there was just this huge black abyss you didn't see really what was there we didn't saw anything it's incredible and the map from the abyss good lord those names of those layers fuck this is terrifying seriously terrifying man but yeah overall i would say episode two uh, episode three sorry was really strong with the more world building for the city the emotional parts with the characters and also Rick trying to find out who he is why he is there in the first place and yeah still curious what the fuck is down there they are calling it netherworld and from the map we saw of the abyss it kinda looks like that there is an end to it so I really am curious if there is something down there or if it just ends in nothing also what I think is kinda kinda strange is that we know nothing about everything else besides the city by the abyss no other countries we hear that there are actually other countries who are paying quite a lot for those relics even though they are relics from the first layer but yeah aside that we know nothing we don't know how the world looks just the city at the edge of the abyss but good lord, I'm really excited for episode 4, I can't wait for it. And I really think I should start the manga and read the manga along the anime. So that I get to see the differences. But yeah, these are basically my thoughts for episode 3 of Made in Abyss. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give me a thumbs up or maybe hit the subscribe button. And I hope I will see you next time as well. Thanks for watching. Habt eine gute Nacht. Bis dahin. Adios.